open this session. And I'd like to invite uh, Professor Bashalit, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences at Hebrew University, to give his speaking words. Mr. President, dear visitors, everybody, welcome. Um, not very often do we host a president here, and not very often do we host uh, people who received uh, Nobel Prizes. But I find it very difficult to remember, apart from one time, which is our president, Mr. Perez, that we hosted somebody who both is the president of a state and somebody who received the Nobel Prize. And we are flattered and honored uh, that you are here in Jerusalem and at the Hebrew University. Um, I think that if one looks at um, your career concepts that immediately arise, reconciliation, liberty, and human rights. And we know that you have led um, a campaign for liberty and independence. And we are in the middle of looking, um, watching, and maybe even being inspired by some of our neighbors who are now in the middle of um, trying to achieve more liberty and more independence. It seems to me that everybody should um, be inspired by the way you led this campaign. It seems to me that reconciliation, liberty, and human rights are the three concepts which together characterize this campaign as <sighs> characterize this uh, campaign as the most noble it could be. So uh, this is another reason why we are so flattered and honored that you're here. I hope you will enjoy your visit. I hope you have some time to explore the beauty of this city. We have, and I'm looking forward to listening to your talk. Thank you. My name is uh, Avraham Sela, and I'm the director of the Davis Institute for International Relations. We uh, are lucky and, and very pleased to uh, take responsibility for this, uh, for this event. So any uh, failure or uh, good things that you would have about uh, the arrangements. Uh, uh, His Excellency, Dr. Ramos, Dr. Jose Ramos Horta, President of the Democratic Republic of East Timor, Professor Avner De Shalit, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences, Mr. Chaim Hoshen, Head of the Asia and East Asia Department at the Israeli uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, colleagues, students, distinguished guests. I will not repeat the political biography of President Ramos Horta, which appears on the posters we published towards this event. What I will do is to introduce you to some additional important aspects of his personal history for which he deserves our admiration and, intention, and attention. President Jose Ramos Horta is a historical leader who from 1975 fought for his country's independence from Indonesian military occupation until 1999 when East Timor began its transition to independence under international supervision and support. Dr. Ramos Horta studied public international law, human rights law, and American foreign policy, and is a senior associate member of the University of Oxford, St. Anthony's College, where I had the pleasure of spending a sabbatical in the year 2000-2001. Indeed, in his political activity, President Ramos Horta demonstrated an outstanding combination of theory and practice which ended in exemplary moral success despite decades of harsh experience of persecution and exile, which stretched ac across continents and oceans from Australia to Western Europe and the United States. Moreover, along his political career, President 